Bay Street hit an all-time high again today, even with U.S. markets closed for Thanksgiving. The TSX is now up by more than 19% year-to-date. Now, as far as Wall Street goes, tomorrow might be a little tricky with a half session on tap. The U.S. president picked last night ahead of the market closure to sign that bill which essentially backs Hong Kong protesters. China has said it will retaliate. So far, we don't know what that means. This, of course, has been an ongoing drama with back and forth between these two countries as they try to work out a deal. There's also been talk about potentially tariff relief. Nothing has been settled on that either. And the next round of tariffs are slated to go into effect on December the 15th. Now, cannabis stocks did provide a lift on the TSX today for sort of an interesting reason. The boost is likely coming on expectations of a rise in spending on cannabis in the U.S. over the Thanksgiving holiday period. Last year, American data showed a spike of about 60% in cannabis sales on the day before Thanksgiving. Then there was a spike the day after Thanksgiving as well. The largest cannabis company, Canopy Growth, did see its stock rise today, though it's still down year to date. And Canopy also unveiled its Cannabis 2.0 products today, which include chocolates, vapes, and a large number of distilled offerings. The 22 member states of the European Space Agency have pledged to boost their funding to support more missions and research products, and this will include a new generation of satellites to monitor climate change. The agency's director general says ministers meeting in Spain pledged a record three-year budget of $18.3 billion. Jan Werner says climate change is a strong driver for this bigger-than-expected funding boost. And if you're planning to do some Black Friday shopping, you might not have to battle the crowds after all. A survey from Accenture shows only 4 in 10 Canadians are likely to shop tomorrow compared to 6 in 10 last year. Now, a spokesperson says in part, it's because sales have been a little more spread out leading up to Christmas, diluting the appeal for a deal. From the 680 Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker.